So may I introduce to you Group Captain Phil Wagner.
And of course, the natural laws being what they are, that was the aeroplane that was. There was some of the, the stuff that made Britain, Britain great. The crew stuck to their aeroplane until the flames reached the cockpit, whereupon they jumped out and ran away. Not long afterwards, uh, a sister airfield near King's Lynn uh, was flying Hawker Hunters in very bad weather indeed. And this was one of the most shaming things to happen in the RAF since the war. It had a formation of eight airborne. Uh, retrospective wisdom suggests they should never have got airborne in the first place. It was a rather misty day, and they took off in these very short-range aeroplanes in the face of a discouraging weather uh, prognosis. <laughs> and while they were airborne, the airfield at West Raymond went out in fog. They returned from their exercise area, overflying a number of airfields they could see from 20,000 feet. But the Jews tried to land at West Raynham, and out of the eight Hawker Hunters, six were lost. I flew into the ground or ran out of fuel. Uh, there were, I think, four survivors. Uh, one safe landing, and the rest were ejectees. But you will see, uh, jet aeroplanes were new then, and people were really just getting to terms with using them. Uh, the new jet fighters, even the Vampire and the Meteor, which preceded the Hunter, uh, were very much faster than the aircraft they replaced, the Spitfires and the like. But they, the fuel consumption of a jet engine was very much greater than that of the piston engines that preceded them. So you could travel a long way in a very short period of time, but all the time consuming your fuel um, very fast. And we, uh, we called this the speed piston fuel. Uh, equation, and you had to be very careful to stay within the recovery range um, of an airfield. After all, uh, the accident rate was very high indeed. It was in 1955 that the RAF contrived, no, that's unfair, happened to lose 550 aircraft. 550 aircraft crashed in a single year. We haven't got 550 aircraft, I shouldn't think, in the RAF today. That involved the death of 351 aircrew, so really quite a high um, accident rate.